Ah, oh, hello, children. Man, did you see that last, uh, program? Jeez, I hate when things have such obvious product placement. Now, children, I'm so glad you've decided to join me in my living room for another exciting episode of William's Reading Theatre. Now, as you sit there, drinking your tea and eating your biscuits, I hope you listen to me as I, William Winslow III, tell you another exciting tale. On today's episode, I'll be telling the story of Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. The king then realized it was very stupid for the horses to even try, as, well, they lacked the opposable thumbs to be of any real use. So the men ditched their horses. They knew what to do. We'll tie up old Humpty with the lace from a shoe. So the crew headed down to the castle market and got out of the wagon as soon as they'd parked it. They went to the store and bought laces there, and went back to their friend to do the repair. But when they returned, a lesson they learnt. They'd taken so long, Humpty was sunburnt. Yes, it seems the friend he had died. Out in the heat too long, on the sidewalk he fried. But to God the men didn't cry or beg. For instead of weeping... They ate scrambled egg. And the moral of the story is, don't waste good food. There's children starving in Africa, you know. And also, children, before we go, I have a letter from a fan. Chelsea from Canada wants to know, Dear William, is your living room real, or is it a set? Also, it seems different than last time. What's up with that? Oh, 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 Chelsea. Why, my living room's just as, as real and consistent as my British accent. Anyways, thanks for writing. Now, on next week's episode, children, I shall be telling the story of The Three Little Piggies.